The difference between house odds and true odds is true odds calculate the actual chance of winning, while house odds are calculated to guarantee that the casino will make money even on winning bets. So for this first example here uh, about roulette, roulette is a standard game in casinos. It's very popular. In American roulette, a ball is spun around the rim of the roulette wheel and eventually falls into one of 38 numbered and colored slots. The slots are numbered 0 and double zero and 1 through 36. Though there are several different combinations of wagers that can be made, a simple wager is to bet that the ball will land on a single number between 1 and 36. Suppose the house odds for betting on a single number are 35 to 1. Is wagering on a single number a fair bet? So what is a fair bet? A fair bet is when the house odds, and according to this problem, which are 35 to 1, is the same as the true odds. And of course, that's what we need to find. If they're the same, then it's a fair bet. So as we look at this problem here, we know there are 38 numbered slots, and you're going to be betting on a single number. So your chance of winning is 1 out of 38. Now we know that odds are A to B, written like this. So since the house odds are 35 to 1, then to write these odds as a probability, that's B over A plus B. And B here is 1. And of course, A plus B, 35 plus 1, that's 36. So according to the house, you have a probability of 1 out of 36, which is not the same as the 1 out of 38. So what would the odds be for here? Well, again, we'll do B, A plus B, B is 1. then A has got to be 37 plus 1. And if this is A, then the odds, the true odds, are 37 to 1. And of course, the true odds are not the same as the house odds. So this is not a fair bet. So what this says is that for every dollar you bet, according to the house, for every dollar you bet, if you win, you're going to get $35 back. The true odds say that for every dollar you bet, if you win, you should be getting $37 back. So even when you win, the house is still keeping some of the money. Now for example six, it says, in the game of roulette, you bet $1 that the ball will land on a single number between one and 36. That's the same scenario as, this, as the previous example here. If you were to place this same bet over and over, in the long run, what can you expect that the average payout would be on your $1 bet? So a couple of things to, certainly to point out here we have in the long run. And what can you expect? So odds are given so that a better can understand what the return would be on any particular winning wager. But we cannot expect to win on any specific bet, but we can determine what to expect on repeated wagers over and over and over. That's known as the expected value. So the way to be able to determine that is one of two things are going to happen when you play. You're either going to win or you're going to lose. So I'm just going to write it down right here, win or lose. I know, according to the house, if I win, I'm going to get $35. So I could win $35. If I lose, I'm going to lose my $1 bet. So I'm going to be down a dollar. Then I'm going to put in the probability of this occurring. So I'm just going to mark it as the probability of win or lose. The probability of winning this is 1 out of 38. So I'm just going to put down 1 out of 38. And of course, for this to occur, that's going to be 37 out of 38. Now, your probabilities should always tally up to 1 because everything's got to be accounted for. So I'm just going to go like this. So then what can I expect 
to win or lose in the long run? Well, we simply multiply these two together and then sum them up. So 35 times 1 out of 38, that's 35 out of 38. And then negative 1 times 37 out of 38, that's going to be negative 37 out of 38. We just tally them together. 35 out of 38 minus 37 out of 38, that's a negative 2 out of 38, which is the same as negative 1 out of 19. So what does this come out to be? Well, on our calculators, that's going to come out to be approximately negative 0 0.0526. So what does that mean? Well, that means in the long run, every time I bet a dollar, I can expect to lose. Since it's negative, I can expect to lose about 5.26 cents every time I play. And there you go.